What is up everybody, it's your boy Duty, back again with another video and this time we're taking a look at our boy D DSP's daily rap video after the Machinima Marathon event where we found out two critical things. One, Phil is a demanding and annoying person. Two, Phil is an extremely difficult person to work with. And three, he apparently loves doxing people whose first name is Ryan. So let's get into the video. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to The Daily Wrap for what was Saturday, the 29th of July, 2023, a special long-form react event day called The Dark Side of Machinima, where I went through my entire history being a partner of Machinima over six years, as well as doing a live react to the June the King documentary about the rise and fall of Machinima, and we ate some food, which wasn't very good. How did it go? Went pretty good. Actually, I got more attendees than I thought. I didn't think I would have over 400 viewers most of the day. I did. I actually had over 500 at one point. Um, so I was shocked. Like when I did the Internet Historian React, I didn't even think I had that many. This was a little different, I think, because I was talking a lot more about my personal experiences. We started off the day with the Level 1 podcast, which was fine. It wasn't, a, you know, a too crazy of a show or anything, but it was entertaining. And uh, then we started up actually with me reacting to the June the King documentary. The documentary was about 43 minutes long, but it took me roughly about just under two hours to react to. I learned a lot. I learned a lot about how this company Machinima operated and why they did what they did, why they did the weirdest stuff pissing away money, and why they basically fell apart the way they did, which I never understood because I always thought that they were prominent and doing the right things and they were obviously doing completely the opposite, <laughs> which is why they failed the way that they did. Um, pretty interesting to say the least. Uh, then I ordered food and the food was terrible. The food I ordered was incredibly underwhelming. Uh, I don't want to spoil what it is. The video will be live later on the week on this channel or excuse me on, uh, the D DSP reacts channel. Um, and then the dark side of machinima event, which was a three parter. Each part was about an hour long and each hour covered different aspects of me being a machinima partner. First, my original interactions with machinima in 2009. I became a partner in 2011, the big E3 trip in 2012, um, and other things that happened after that, like in 2013, uh, how Machinima originally discovered that this is how you don't play movement and how they handled that, how they handled the incident, um, copyright strikes against my channel, and of course, eventually, the end of my contracts with the company. So it covered a lot. I don't want to upload all of that today. That would be overload. So here's how we're going to go about it. The Level 1 podcast should be live relatively soon after you watch this video it'll be live on the channel here there's nothing else going on dsp gaming today because everything else was react content what i think we'll do is tonight <clears throat> i will upload the intro video as well as the two june the king react videos to dsp react so that'll be the content for tonight tomorrow i'll upload the first part of my uh dark side of machinima and each day so sunday monday tuesday each day will be one of the three parts of the Dark Side of Machinima event. Now there's another video and another video to go up. One is the food video and one is like a 15 minute Q&A, both of which were kind of random videos for the day. So I'll probably upload those later in the week. I don't know if I'll do like one Wednesday, one Thursday, or both on Wednesday. I'll, I'll, I'll figure that out. But in the meantime, there's more React content coming. So let's go over the schedule for tomorrow. Tomorrow is the level... Nah, let's not. Well, maybe we'll touch on it, but the one thing I wanted to focus on was the actual marathon and how it was super boring. We learned three things. We learned one, Phil is an extremely difficult person to work with. Two, Phil is a very demanding person to work with. And that's what explained why Machinima ghosted him and uh, cut ties with him. And thirdly, he apparently loves doxing people with the first name of Ryan. That's right, folks. The only major thing that came out of the marathon was he doxed John Rambo and apparently he was so desperate for tips that he uh, was willing to drink gin. And this was something that he brought out of the blue because support was just abysmal. And I think he ended up walking away with like 170 bucks. And of course 120, well the 100 bucks for the shot from Dan the Man and then 20 bucks from One Minute Man. So essentially overall support was just garbage. No memberships, and I think he walked away with $6 in Super Chats. All that to essentially retcon uh, 10 years of a relationship no one cares about. But of course, Phil, all he wants to do is he wants to cast the blame on Machinima that it was their fault. It was their fault. Um, 
why he has financial trouble. It's their fault why uh, he uh, he got in trouble for uh, using the YouTube copyright system against uh, detractors and anyone making videos negative towards him. He essentially just wanted to use this as a platform to say I did nothing wrong and to excuse his poor behavior through all these years. And he failed. No one's buying it. I mean, I don't even think the dents bought it. Anyway, it's a short rap video. I guess he was happy that he made out with $170 and he actually uh, convinced one of his moronic dents to donate 100 bucks. But if it wasn't for that, it would have been another, another slow marathon for Phil. I mean, at this point, he's going to have to start making, uh, taking a shot of gin, one of the tear goes. He's going to have to make it to the two tier tip goal just to get there. I mean, that's how pathetic it is. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I did post a video of him doxing John Rambo. If you want to check it out, it's the video before this one. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy it. Peace out.